Show. And here's your host, Chris Massey. the Chris Massey Music Show here on the American Hearts Radio Network. We're coming to you live tonight from our studio here in downtown Atlanta. Tonight is episode 13 of season 2 and the 29th overall episode of the Chris Massey Music Show. We appreciate everybody uh, turning in, tuning in. Now I tell you, there's been so much going on in the news lately, it was like a smorgasbord trying to pick what I was going to talk about tonight. I mean, there's all kinds of things going on, and the thing that I think I'm going to start off this evening with is the fact that uh, unless you were uh, been living under a rock, you know now that the Supreme Court voted 5-4 to four to legalize gay marriage in all 50 states in the United States. And that includes you, Mississippi, uh, for you people that uh, were uh, wondering about that. Now, the religious right, they're always whining about something, but I've never heard them whine like this. I mean, you would think that somebody held them at gunpoint, put them on all four, slipped them a beef injection somewhere where the sun don't shine. I mean, it's unbelievable some of the crap they've been saying. You know, God is going to curse America. We're all doomed. And, of course, my favorite one, you know, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Next person I hear say that, I'm going to knock the living hell out of you, okay? All right. So there's so many people saying so much stupid crap, it was, you know, kind of hard to pick the guy I wanted to pick on. And tonight I'm going to pick on a guy named Todd Starnes from the Fox News Network. Now, if you don't know Todd, he's this guy that's overweight and got a big mouth and a... Of course, he thinks he's right uh, about everything, and he's a Southern Baptist. That's a wonderful winning combination there. Now, um, Todd was recently speaking at a uh, church in Augusta, Georgia, and I couldn't tell if he was preaching or if he was promoting his book, because every time he said God, he mentioned his book two times, you know. <laughs> so uh, anyway, he went on to say that it's not going to be long before it's going to be a criminal offense to be a Christian in the United States of America, and that is just the most ridiculous thing that I have ever heard of. Christians make up 70% of the population. What are you talking about, for crying out loud? So, um, anyway, like I said, he was promoting his, uh, promoting his book, you know, and going on and on, but here, Todd, let me spell it out for you and the rest of the people that were in that congregation. Most of America, myself included, and the Supreme Court of the United States of America doesn't think that because Moses wrote something in a book 4,000 years ago that that's a good enough reason to deny Americans in the 21st century the same rights as everybody else. Sorry, that's just the way that it is. Now, another thing that he was hitting on was this uh, bakery in Oregon. Are you familiar with the bakery in Oregon now? I'm hoping you know, now. You know, this lesbian couple went in there and they wanted a wedding cake and uh, they wouldn't give it to them, and now they've been fined $135,000. Look, discrimination is not going to be tolerated in the United States of America in the 21st century, even if you're hiding behind your religious beliefs. So as you kept on talking, I got to thinking about something. Let's say, Mr. Starnes, that your wife and your fat ass wobble into a bakery one day, and you go in there and you tell them that you want to order a wedding cake for a traditional marriage. The person behind the counter looks at you and says, excuse me, are you a Christian? And you say, well, of course I am. And the guy goes, well, I'm sorry. We don't do business with Christians. We seem to think they're all self-serving, hypocritical bigots. You're telling me that you're going to walk out of that store and tell your wife, well, honey, that's their religious belief. We need to respect and honor what they think. Let's just go somewhere where our money is welcome. No way, man. You're going to be raising more hell than Satan himself. How in the hell can people be discriminating against Christians? But then, it's okay to discriminate against gay people. Is that what you're saying? Because that's what it sounds like to me. You know, we can't discriminate against Christians. But it's okay to discriminate against gay people because after all, that's what God wants us to do. All right, we have got a great show tonight. I have got Jay and Renee Patel, owners of the bar Kazans, and Anne-Marie Perry from the Anne-Marie Perry Band. We'll be right back. 
Hey everybody, I'm Chris Massey from The Chris Massey Show. You know, one of my favorite places to hang out, eat, and play music is the Moonshot Tavern in Tucker, Georgia. Moonshot Tavern, they got great food, great drink, and great live music five nights a week. Right now at the Moonshot Saloon, you can go and get five appetizers for five bucks, five bucks each. That's right, five appetizers for $25. So just go down there and get them. Hell, those appetizers, man, that's a whole meal in itself. one of my biggest fans. Yes, Betty, you saw the monologue. Uh-huh. I know I'm going to burn in hell. You know, you tell me that all the time. And uh, I appreciate you praying for me because uh, you need the practice and I could use the prayers. But right now, I'm kind of busy, so I'll talk to you later. All right. Okay. Now, my first guests tonight uh, are the owners of a, uh, of a bar out in Swanee, a live music venue that uh, the Chris Massey Band will be performing at this Saturday night on July 18th. It's on Horizon Drive in Swanee. The name of the bar is Kazan's. Would you please welcome to the Chris Massey Music Show, Jay and Renee Patel. Come on in. Have a seat there, hon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Jay, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Okay, glad I'm glad you folks can make it out tonight. Okay, now um, tell me a little bit about the bar and how long you guys have had it, and uh, uh, you know what do you guys do out there? Uh, we've had it for two years in November. Yeah, um, two years. In November. It's a sports bar, but uh, our food is a top notch than that. We uh, do seafood. It's more of a Cajun type thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we carry. Everything that we do is done fresh. It's done. Um, uh, <laughs> well, she, she's the chef, so she took over. Yeah, I am the chef. Oh, okay. We uh, carry. Well, we well carry, I guess you would be the person to tell me about the food. Then. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. All right. Now I have to tell you, uh, being a musician, when I walked in the place. Uh, a few months back to talk to Jay about getting a gig in there. What really impressed me was that stage you guys got it. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, uh, I mean, any uh, any musician likes to play on a nice stage, and it's a nice wood stage, man. So it's going to have a great sound. I'm sure I'm looking forward to getting in there and, and hearing what it sounds like. A lot of places that are kind of restaurant bar first, live music last. You know. You can tell because there is no stage. You're playing right on the floor. Yeah. They tuck you away in the corner. But this is a really big room, and the stage is front and center. And um, uh, tell me a little bit about some of the music you guys have had out there. Uh, we we do all kinds. We do the we do country. We do rock. We do um, country rock. Um, we're pretty much open to anything and okay. everything. All right. Okay. Now. Um, uh, so what kind of age group of people would you have out there, Jay? What would you say? I'd say 21 to 45. Okay. Mainly. Okay. That's a that's a group of people that uh that like to drink. Is right. that is that yep. correct? <laughs> <laughs> now is it uh what's it like in there on a Saturday night? Does it get a little wild? Or is it or is it a pretty tame place? People behave themselves or depending uh, on the band. Depending on the band. Depending on the band. That's right. Okay. All right. And depending the crowd, on the following. On yes, the that's right. That's right. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Fridays is more busier than Saturdays, but you know, really, yeah. see now that's kind of unusual. Right. I mean, but you know, my crowd is an older crowd, and um, uh, and the older folks, you know, Fridays are rough, working all day and and, and that kind of thing. But yeah. on Saturday, you know, you know, they get out and nobody's working on Sunday and and uh, and that type of thing. Or at least that's been the experience with the Chris Master Band. Younger people, though, when Friday hits, they're ready to go. Yes, paychecks in yes. the pocket and. Uh, and they're and they're ready to get you out there and, right. and do it. And uh, you guys got a great location. You're on Horizon Drive, which is right. You're going 85 north to get up at Lawrenceville Swanee and make a right and go to the first light. Is that correct? Yes, and take a left. Take a left, and, and it's right down there on the right. Right next to the movie tavern. Okay. So what is y'all's goal uh, with with this bar? Do you want to be do you want to be known as a restaurant, a bar, or is it a live music venue, or is it all three? All really? three. All, all three. three. But I really like to be known for the food because. I do all of my food, like I said, I do um, seafood, best seafood that you're going to get. Um, mm -hmm. It's all Louisiana. Um, if you want a po' boy, traditional po' boy, 
I'm the place to come to. I have so many New Orleans that come in okay. that tell me that they've been up here for years and have not been able to get that kind of food. Wow. Okay. Fresh seafood, fresh crab, crab cakes. Um, mm -hmm. I do brie grilled cheese with right. blueberry compote, uh, mm -hmm. ginger peach compote. So it's it was a dive bar, but the food takes mm -hmm. it up to another notch. So see, I'm all about the food. See, that's really good because I mean in the um, in the suburbs, of course, you're competing with the chains. There you go. You're, you're competing with the chains and the people that are standing in the parking lot with the beeper in their pocket. That's you right. Know? Whereas downtown in the city, you know, it's all about uh, restaurants that aren't chains. You know. You're right. So for uh, for you to be successful out there is, uh, you know, that's something different for people and something that I think that people would really like. And I, they have, especially with the smoked meats. I smoke all my meats too. Mm -hmm. um, the smoke pork, uh, smoked chicken, smoked salmon as okay. well. Flies. I can't even keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, um, uh, like I said, the Chris Massey Band, we're going to be out there this Saturday night playing 10 to 1. And I got to tell you, guys in the band really love that 10 to 1 three set deal instead of that 9 to 1 four set. Yeah. There you go. There's a big difference between three sets and four. Yes, there certainly is. Yes. So uh, being the singer, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much and good luck at the bar and we'll see you guys Saturday Thank night. You, honey. Renee Thanks. and Jay from Thank Kazan's. You. We'll be right back, everybody. You're watching the Chris Massey Music Show. And by the way, I'm Johnny Vanzo and Leonard Skinner. everybody okay all right I guess it was about a, a month or so ago I got asked to play at a uh, some type of Dunwoody flowers festival not really sure what it was but it was in Dunwoody but I don't remember seeing any flowers there while I was there I think it was a daisy festival something like that but anyway we got there there's like six or seven bands playing and I'm uh, we were going on a little later in the day and I got there in time to see uh, my next guest performing and uh, I was very impressed um, she reminded me, I uh, did a lot of original music, and she reminded me a whole lot of Patti Smith. And of course, when I told her that, she took that as a compliment, as any musician would. So would you please welcome to the Chris Massey Music Show, Miss Anne Marie Perry from the Anne Marie Perry Band. Come on in, hon. Hey. Hey, good to see you. You too, we want to sit right you here. You sit right here, and we'll get your musicians up here, and we'll move it around. So, come on in. And it's, uh... The Lemonade Days Festival. Lemonade? I ain't seen lemonade either. So. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. Maybe that's because I was looking for the flowers. You were looking for the beer. <laughs> there is what it was. My apologies, you know. I guess I won't be getting asked back to that next year. Anyway, all right. Um, uh, so, uh, now, when we were talking, you know, and, and it's so weird because in the Atlanta music scene, Everybody is connected in some type of way or, or something, and I found out that uh, your brother was in the Weasels. Yes, in, back in the '80s, one of a very popular Atlanta band. And at that time, I was in the Mistakes. We did a show with him at the Bistro over on West Peachtree uh, one night. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw him in Hedgens several times. Oh yeah. So, um, so anyway, and tell me a little bit about your uh, about your music and uh, what your influences are, and uh, maybe mention uh, where we can catch you coming up. Okay, well, speaking of my brother, he's um, a lot older than I am. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, he influenced me a lot, and uh, I came about musically in the 80s, so my influences were the police and the pretenders mm -hmm. and all of that. I get compared to pretenders some. Uh -huh. And um, I toured as Gild the Lily in the 90s and Green Bracelet in the 2000s. Good. And, um, I'm older, and I'm, I'm now just performing under my own name, Anne Marie Perry. Okay, how do you like it? I, I, it's strange. Mm -hmm. I've never gone by my name before. Yeah, I've been, but, a, so, I've been a solo artist <laughs> for about five years, and I'm, uh, you know, and what's weird about that is, see, is if, if, if you're playing a gig and you stink, uh, nobody it, says. Uh, Chris Massey band stinks. They said Chris Massey stinks. Yeah. So, uh, that's one so thing. yeah, that, that, that's one thing about it. But then on the other side, then they say you're great, and they leave the band out of it. That's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a great group of guys. We just came out of the studio with Joey Huffman producing. Oh, and he's, Joey is a keyboard player. Worked with Hank Williams Jr. and some people like that. He's touring with Hank Williams Jr. and um, Cindy Wilson of the B52s sang on a song with me. Oh, excellent. She's a pal. Excellent. Uh huh. Can't wait. And it'll, 
um, the first release is going to come out in just a few weeks. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Very well. But I'm doing really two uh, really cool gigs this summer. One okay. is the, um, the Ronnie Hammond's uh, benefit, memorial benefit, for Greg Brooks, who is a musician that just passed okay. in Macon. It's July 25th at the Back Porch Lounge. And then um, in August at Red Clay Theater. Okay. Um, That's in Duluth, right? Yeah. Um, August 23rd. It's on a Sunday. It's an all-day festival to raise money for a family that takes care of a parent with Alzheimer's. Oh, okay. It's Great dear to my heart. And we're doing a contest that, um, and the code word is, you have to watch the show, the okay. code word is Albert. And um, when you see the show air, the first one that posts Albert on my music page on Facebook, Anne Marie Perry Music, you win two free tickets. Oh, excellent. Um, yeah. Excellent. So okay. Albert is the, the promoter's father, and he takes care of him, him with Alzheimer's. Okay. And for those of you that don't know, Ronnie Hammond was the lead singer for the Atlanta Rhythm Atlanta Section. Atlanta Rhythm Section. He was, and a very, uh, very big name down there in Macon Town. Yeah. Okay, so you've uh, brought a couple people from your band yeah. with you tonight, and you're going to perform a song for us. Is We're that right? we do a song. Okay, well, I'm going to just slide out of here and let you guys get in here and do your thing, okay? All right. All right. All right, Amory Perry, uh, Amory Perry band, everybody. <clears throat>
everybody. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. I'm Chris Massey from The Chris Massey Show. You know, one of my favorite places to hang out, eat, and play music is the Moonshadow Tavern in Tucker, Georgia. Moonshot Tavern, they got great food, great drink, and great live music five nights a week. Right now at the Moonshot Saloon, you can go and get five appetizers for five bucks, five bucks each. That's right, five appetizers for $25. So just go down there and get them. Hell, those appetizers, man, that's a whole meal in itself. Sometimes I, uh, I get lost, you know, I have a hard time getting found. Where did you even find this car? You know that dude that does the, uh, Batman show at 11 a.m. on Saturdays? Oh yeah, so we let you borrow it? Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Well, I mean, my car broke down and I kind of sort of took his. Well, did you ask him for permission? No. So you stole it? Well, man, look, it's not really stealing, man. We're gonna give it back to him after we get back from the concert. It's unbelievable. Now look, man, when we get to the concert, I've got some weed in the glove box there, man, and I want you to put it in your purse and take it into the concert for me. Have you lost your mind? Oh, shit. What? Oh, man, it's the cops, man. Quick, get that weed out, man, and shove it down your pants. I'm not shoving weed down my pants. Oh, shit, here he comes. Play it cool, play it cool. Hello, sir. Hello, officer. Listen, man, if you pull us over because you think we've got marijuana in this car, we don't have any in here. You were speeding. Yeah. Are you Leon Smoker? Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm Leon Smoker. Yeah, that's right, man. And this is Rachel Jordan. I've seen both your shows. Hi, officer. Man, you need to do a yeah. Black Sabbath review. So you'd like to see us do a, uh, like to see us do a review of a Black Sabbath record, huh? You can go slow it down. Okay. All right, man. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate it. Man, that was close. You're an idiot. The officers require assistance. Are you looking for a great night out? Are you in the Atlanta, Georgia area? Are you looking to check out some live, awesome music during the week? They have Kino, poker tournaments, horseshoes, and special events. It's all at the Moon Shadow Tavern. That's at 3976 Lawrenceville Highway in Tucker, Georgia. That's the Moon Shadow Tavern. Give them a call, 770-674-2133. Check out their selection of great food, friendly service. Visit their website at msttucker.com. That's www.msttucker.com. Moon Shadow Tavern is a proud sponsor of the Chris Massey Web TV Music Show on www.americanheartsradio.com. Make sure you told them that American Hearts Radio sent you. Visit their website, check out their great selection of food, appetizers, wings, burgers, sandwiches and wraps, steaks and chicken, salads and sides. Also their drink specials, live music during the week. Check them out. Give them a call. 770-674-2133. Hey, I'm Leon Smoker. And I'm Rachel Jordan. And I'm Moses Moe from Mother's Finest. And you're watching the Chris Massey Music, Music Show. Show. Hey, man, you remember that time when you guys uh, opened for Aerosmith? I do. <laughs> man, that, that was awesome. All right, we're 
feel bad, feel bad. Well, it was awful nice of Betty from Hoover, Alabama to call in and say that she's praying for me. You know, I don't think she's very good at it because my life hasn't changed <laughs> any since, 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 she started, <laughs> since she started praying for me. The only thing that happens is, is that she gets more pissed off, you know. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I think old Betty, she quit her job uh, down at the post office because she's, uh, she's not going to be uh, delivering any mail to any gay people now that they can get married. So, anyway. Okay. For being a guest on the Chris Massey Music Show, Jay and Renee Patel and Anne-Marie Perry from the Anne-Marie Perry Band will both receive a six-month supply of rice o the San Francisco treat, and a case of turtle wax. That's right. Just see Ray, the security guard, down in the lobby, and he will get you your door prizes. Coming up on the 30th episode of the Chris Massey Music Show, I will have country singer Eddie Gooch and my first returning guest to the show, the one and only Mr. Daryl Rhodes. So until then, remember, like I say, I always love you, woman. Take life as it comes, and when you get the chance, have too much fun. We'll see you next time. Yeah.